remember how good he looked against Alan Clark. Right. He's a good boxer. You know, Ralph uh, Hall had sparred with him the last time he was in Halifax for that uh, fight in August. And, uh, Here's Chris Clark. Here comes Chris Clark. And Ralph was really amazed at his hand speed. Chris Clark dressed in black. I don't know if there's any significance to that. Actually, Eklund got a larger round of applause than, than Clark did, which is uh, kind of surprising, I think. Ten, three minute round. Chris looks heavier than Eklund. He looks corner, thicker than Eklund in the upper body. But don't be deceived. Eklund's got pounds. fast hands. Fifth, Eklund. It's a really good Eklund, round of applause. Eklund gets a tremendous round of applause here from the fans of the Metro Center. He weighs 146 to the half. relaxed? The former British Commonwealth welterweight Quite champion. Quite relaxed. Canadian middleweight champion from Halifax, Chris Clark. A few cheers. A few cheers, but a few boos. That's right, a few distinct boos. Maybe some people didn't like the fact uh, that Chris is taking this as a, as a sort of a grudge match. Oh, they're getting their last minute instructions. This one is scheduled for 10. Do you think it'll go that distance? <laughs> I don't know. It's difficult I, to tell. It's, yeah, it is difficult to tell. I mean, uh, we're just going to have to wait and see. But I think either way, we're going to be in for a good fight. Clark uh, looks determined. Looks looks as though he's got the idea of, uh, of this as a grudge match in his mind. Eklund is just relaxed. Uh, looks very pleasant, as a matter of fact. Uh, none of the staring and the glaring that we're used to in the ring, none of the psyching out beforehand. Well, it's almost round one. Scheduled for 10, Clark and Eklund, Chris Clark. This is a fight that a lot of fight fans have been waiting for. Can Chris Clark come back? Eklund is treating this fight as just another fight. That's what he says, just another fight. But you know that he's got to be feeling some sort of pressure. Also, Chris has that uh, rather unorthodox style. I wonder how Eklund is going to respond to it, how he's going to handle it, that southpaw type style. He flicks out that right jab. Really no solid punch landed as yet. No. <laughs> Flicking right jab. Might be a little confusing coming with that southpaw style. We have a minute 50 left in round one. Chris Clark, Dick Eklund, scheduled for 10. Very little action at this point. Beating out round up till now. Well, it, you know, they want to make sure they don't go too fast too soon. Because this might we've, be a long fight. We've already seen two fights that <laughs> went along those lines. A little mix up. Yeah. Yeah. Starts to show those fast hands. Looks like he's getting warmed up and Clark responding. Fifty-five seconds left in round one. A lot of interest in the crowd in this fight. Admonitions uh, from all sides for both fighters to let the right go, let the left go. Is that fast? He is fast. It's the yeah. first fight I've seen uh, Eklund in. He has a really fast jab. Flicks that jab out like lightning. Yeah, certainly does. Clark's going to have to be conscious of that. And he's also got an equally fast right. So Almost far. to the end of round one, 17 seconds left. He seems to have held that right in Missouri. <clears throat> oh, boy, 
four successive Three or four jabs. Four fast jabs. Four in a row. Oh! By either fighter as we get into round two. How would you score that round, Bill? First round. Well, you'd have to score it, I think, pretty even. Yeah, I think so, too. Both players dancing, center of the ring. One thing, too, about uh, Dick Eklund in the last fight with Alan Clark, he was very good in the corners. He didn't get pinned. I noticed that um, he was in the corner there, but Chris seemed a bit hesitant to go in after him at this stage anyway. Well, he, he was good in the corner in that fight against Alan Clark, and Alan couldn't pin him. Maybe Chris remembers that. Eklund wants to... Oh, little exchange there! Rapid fire shots. I don't think that Eklund is too intimidated by um, Chris's feeling that this is a grudge match. Second round, 127 left. Chris Clark lands a few body shots to Dick Eklund. No damage done. Oh, Eklund moving in aggressively against the ropes. Rudy Clark against the ropes. Push away. Split. No damage done. One thing you can say about both fighters, they like to fight. I think you're going to see some terrific flurries as this thing warms up. We're not going to dance, I don't think, for 10 rounds. 54 seconds left. Round two. Scheduled for 10. Eklund and Chris Clark. Eklund, the fighter with most of the moves. Chris is very businesslike, steady, stoic. Eklund attacks and flores. Remember, Chris Clark has not fought in eight months. And that's significant. Your timing's off. Maybe a bit ring rusty. <clears throat> But he has been training well. And his handlers and the people who have been watching him say that he looks very good. I don't... Oh, a little flurry there. It's a round ended. Right, so uh, Clark is going to have to really fight a, a disciplined fight and make sure that he keeps Eklund under control. He's managed to do that pretty well so far. Don't let Eklund show him up. Fight him methodically and intelligently. Into round three here, and neither fighter has really landed yet what I would consider to be a damaging uh, blow. Eklund shown his speed, but Clark as yet doesn't seem to be bothered too much by it. Eklund likes to play around, you know, he likes Relaxes to... Relaxes uh, against the rope for yeah. a few seconds. And this can be disarming to a, to a boxer. When your opponent like is... Clark didn't do any damage. When your opponent is taking his ease along the ropes. Come on, Dickie, hit him! Where do you go, Dickie, hit him! Come on, Dickie, hit him! Good shot. Good shot there by Dick Eklund. Clark coming back. I thought that got him on the shoulder. Maybe, maybe it grazed the side of his, his head, but it didn't seem to, to do any damage. Chris Clark, a lot of experience. I think he had over, I think he had over 100 fights as an amateur. If I'm not mistaken. A lot of ring savvy. And for a guy that hasn't fought in eight months, he's, he's certainly looking good. 
Well, he's young and I think he's hungry. I think oh, he wants oh, Ekman. No, it's just a push. Just, just a, push. a push. This goes down, but it was actually from a push. No problem. 105 left in round three. Schedule for 10. And the first two rounds have been pretty even, Steven, and this one seems to be progressing along the same lines. So far, we've only seen the odd flurry of those fast hands. Yeah, actually, Jake Eklund would, might I, be looking to set Clark up. I don't know. I wouldn't say we've seen a heavy, a heavy punch yet. No, we haven't. From either fighter. No. <clears throat> Chris getting in there with a couple of shots. We got through, but they didn't do any damage. 22 seconds left. Round three. Chris seemed to be going to the body of it. Eklund coming back again. Some fast hands. Fast the hands got away. body involved, too. <laughs> a little pushing against the ropes. Yeah. Clark got away, and the fans cheer that exchange.